Welcome to our coding journey. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from a developer transitioning from Python to Golang. They want to know how to obtain both the quotient and remainder from a division operation, similar to what they can do in Python using the divmod function. Let's explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To perform division in Golang and retrieve both the quotient and the remainder, we can use the built-in division and modulus operators. Let's start by defining our variables. We will divide 5566 by 3600 to find the number of hours and the remaining seconds. Next, we need to convert the remainder into minutes and seconds. We can do this by dividing the remainder by 60 for minutes and using the modulus operator for seconds. Finally, we can print the result in the desired format. In this case, we want to display the minutes and seconds. Putting it all together, here is the complete code in Golang that achieves the same result as your Python example. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To perform division with a returning quotient and remainder in Go, you can use the bits package. For a 32-bit number, use bits.div, bits.div32. For a 64-bit number, use bits.div64. If you need to handle larger numbers, you can still use bits.div64. Here's a quick example for 32-bit numbers. You can declare a variable and call bits.div32 to get the quotient and remainder. For 64-bit numbers, simply declare a uint64 variable and use bits.div64 to perform the division. And if you're dealing with numbers larger than 64 bits, you can still use bits.div64 for division. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This function calculates the integer quotient and remainder of two float inputs. It rounds down the quotient towards negative infinity. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.